Hi guys, today I'm gonna make a little uh, tutorial on uh, basically on how I wired up my electric fans on my 240. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do it the same there, but I think I did a pretty good setup there. It's uh, it's not set up in the usual way that people usually do it there. I'll, I'll explain everything. I'll, you'll you'll see what I mean. Um, so yeah, so uh, first of all, I got two. 12-inch uh, electric fans. I don't know if you can see them properly here. Okay, I'll put some light there. So, and and then you can see it says 12 volts, 80 watts on them. Same thing for the other one here. So, anyways, I got two of them, and they have two wires coming out of each of them. So there's a blue, ri blue wire and a black wire. So the blue wire brings uh, the power and the, the black is the ground, right? So I splice both of them together and then I put a little like a fireproof harness or whatever. And then it comes over here. And then the, the black wire is grounded, right, yeah, it's hard to see. <laughs> the black wire is grounded right here, you can see the black wire here. It's grounded right on this bolt, right below the, the battery tray, right here. So I grounded the fans right there. The shortest your ground is, the better. And then the blue wire, comes around underneath the fuse boxes here and then it comes over here and uh, it attaches to a relay and then I'll explain all of that as well so basically when you power up electric fans or anything that draws up a lot of power you want to uh, connect directly on the battery and I took the battery out here so I could have some room to uh, show you everything and explain everything properly and uh, so basically I took I can't remember what gauge this is but it's a pretty heavy gauge there I honestly can't remember what it is maybe it's like 14 or 12 gauge I don't remember exactly but I went right into the stock uh, connector on the battery here so I spliced the wire in there and then I brought it underneath my fuse box and there was a fuse right here it was a 15 amp fuse <coughs> and it says uh, that one right here it says front fog I don't have fog lights on this car so I decided to uh, use that spot for my electric fan fuse and uh, I did some calculations with my multimeter and everything. Maybe, maybe I can show you on another video. And uh, basically, I needed a 20 amp fuse. So that's what I put in there. So I put a 20 amp fuse in here. So that's my electric fan fuse right now. So the power comes right underneath. Like it comes from this wire, right? This wire here it comes right underneath the fuse box and it connects to this fuse. And then the other wire that comes out it's this one and it connects to a yellow wire which goes to my relay so as far as power is concerned power comes directly from the battery goes to the fuse comes out of the fuse goes through this wire to that relay and then the yellow wire is pin number 30 you can see that try and focus it's not working really <laughs> so anyways it's connected to a uh, pin 30 and then the output power I guess you can call it is the blue wire which goes to my fan that I showed you earlier and that is pin 87 not not 87 age just pin 87 so that's power so now how do you get the power to go from 
the white wire which goes to the relay to this blue wire well you need some kind of switch or trigger and uh, some people they would connect it to 12 volt ignition so every time you turn on your car the fans would turn on automatically right it's it's fine I mean like that way obviously your fan will never turn off and you'll never be subject to overheating or anything and that's an easy way to do it but then you wear out your fan really fast and honestly on my car right now my fans like barely turn on at all maybe it's because I have a, a Mishimoto double core rad here and I have a, a cooling panel right there I don't know if that really makes a difference or not probably just a little bit but but yeah I mean they barely turn on at all so so what I did is I have this uh, water meter gauge inside and I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit and basically that water gauge has a, an output signal and I can program it to basically when temperature ra raises to a certain degree there then the, the gauge will close the circuit and send the signal to my relay and then the relay will kick in and turn on the fan so I'll show you exactly what I mean there just give me a second all right so we're inside the car right now so I'm gonna show you a thing about my water gauge there uh, that's the one in the middle here and then I have a boost and vacuum gauge here which is only vacuum right now because I don't have turbo and I have an oil pressure gauge right there so here we go so the water gauge is the one that's green right now and don't mind the blinking red there it's because the, the car's turned off so it's thinking it has no oil pressure so that's why it's blinking so basically like I was saying my uh, my water gauge this one right here so I programmed it I, I think I programmed it to where, where it would turn on around like 190 you can't really see the numbers right now <laughs> sorry about that I'm trying to it won't focus correctly so 180 degrees is straight up like 12 o'clock and 190 is right here and you have 200 right there and I can program this gauge to turn on my fan whenever I want basically so I set it up to around I think it's around 190 or somewhere around there and that's a degrees Fahrenheit um, so yeah whenever my my gauge hits 190 degrees Fahrenheit um, it's gonna send a signal to my relay and the relay will close the circuit and send power to my fan directly from the battery I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the relay now so I explained the uh, I explained how the power comes from the battery and goes to the fans so I put the battery back in right now obviously because I had power inside so power goes out from here goes to that fuse like I was explaining earlier it's really dark down you can't see goes to my relay that's the yellow wire and then it comes out the blue wire goes to the fans and the wires that come from the gauge is the white wire here which is uh, give me a second or I'll have to uh, unplug this so the white wire is pin 86 and the other wire is pin 85 <clears throat> so the white wire from the relay is connected to this blue wire which goes inside this harness there and then this goes to my gauge and then the black wire which is here 
goes underneath goes underneath and then wraps around here where where did I put this thing is that an under can't <laughs> I'm gonna have to take the battery out again all right we're back so I took the battery out again so I have some room so like I was saying there just a small recap that blue wire comes from my gauge here goes to that white wire which goes to the relay to pin 86 and then pin 85 which is the other side of the electromagnet is that black wire and then it goes underneath here and then it goes I basically roll it up around this harness and it comes here and then it basically goes all the way here to the other side to the other fuse box and it connects to this relay right here which is the accessory relay I don't know why it says differential oil there maybe it's from some other car or whatever but yeah this is the accessory relay so every time I turn my key on to accessory or on position it will send power to this relay and then obviously send power to this black wire that goes all the way here to my relay so it sends power to an electromagnet but the other side of the electromagnet has to be grounded for it to turn on right because if it's not grounded then it's not going to work so how it works basically is the power is sent to the electromagnet which is pin 86 and 85 and then this blue wire which goes to my gauge goes all the way inside the cabin and when the temperature reaches a certain degrees like like I was saying on mine I set it up to 190 degrees Fahrenheit I think when it hits 190 degrees Fahrenheit there's a circuit inside the gauge which is gonna close the circuit and is gonna ground the circuit and in turn complete the circuit so that power can go through so the power is gonna go through the electromagnet which in turn is gonna close the circuit inside the relay and then the power will be able to flow through this wire here through the yellow wire like I was explaining earlier there and then to the blue wire which goes to the fan and then turn on the fans that's how it works basically a relay is like some kind of hard switch which is controlled electrically like externally electrically whatever you want to say <laughs> um, it's kind of like a switch that you would turn on yourself but instead of turning a switch with your finger or whatever the switch is turned on by some other circuit outside of the relay so small recap this wire is connected directly to the battery goes to a fuse and then wire comes out goes to relay and then this is the input power the output power is this blue wire and I'm sorry and the input would be pin 30 and all relays are pretty much all the same like all the same pin numbers and stuff so the input power on mine is pin 30 then the output power is pin 87 pin 87 is this blue wire which goes to my fan and then the switch which allows power to go from the battery to my fans is the electromagnet inside the relay which is pin 86 and pin 85 and these ones are interchangeable doesn't matter where uh, your input or output is it works the same way um, and the electromagnet is like I was saying pin 86 and 85 which is 
the white wire here and the black wire. The white wire is connected to the wire that goes to my fan, uh, my uh, gauge, I mean, sorry about that. And then the other wire goes to the relay on the other side, the accessory relay, which is basically your power source. So for example, people that connected directly to 12 volt ignition, that's what they would do. Like they, they would connect the 12 volt ignition right here instead of tapping into the relay like I did on the other side. And that's how it works. So I hope I haven't confused you too much. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and then maybe I can make a little diagram. I found a little picture on Google there that kind of inspired me on how to connect everything together. And then I just patched everything myself here just to make it you know, look neat and stockish look. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully that helps. And uh, like I said, just ask me any question you want and comment. And if you think I did something wrong, feel free to let me know and then we can discuss it and everything. So yeah, hope uh, hope that helps. So uh, like and subscribe like usual, you know the drill. Alrighty. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.